all right guys welcome back to the other video in this video i'm going to talk about k nearest neighbor classifier so before jump into the code section i want to talk a little bit about how it works about its algorithm so first of all uh, it will look for the k nearest level point and then based on the majority vote it will classify that point as the same category i mean same class so if if you look into this figure so let's say we have two categories category a and category b uh, and then we added another new point at the somewhere middle in the two categories and then let's say we take value of k is 2 that means we only consider the nearest two points then uh, i think this blue point is more near to the uh, green points than uh, the yellow points so it will automatically categorize uh, to the category a so that's how the knn works so let me show you how it works in the code okay so in the coding section um, we we i have created uh, this notebook and then i'll make it available in the video description so first of all uh, we need to import few models uh, so that we can work with the k nearest neighbor classifier so in this video i'm going to use the scikit-learn and first of all we need to import the k nearest neighbor classifier from uh, neighbors, and then also we need to import the escalon.model selection uh, we need to import the train and test uh, split function and then uh, for simplicity i imported pandas is numpy pandas and numpy pandas is pd numpy is np and uh, for this tutorial i'm going to use the diabetes data set which is the most popular data set in machine learning and i'll i'll also provide this data in the video description if you want to run this code and uh, here uh, i try to read the csv file using pandas pd.read csv function and then if i uh, hit df.head then this these are the column names and this is how my data look like uh, it has column name is pregnancy glucose body pressure skin thickness insulin bmi and uh, this diabetes uh, pedigree function and age and then this outcome is labeled as 0 and 1 that means if it's one then it's the symptom of diabetes if it's zero then it's not diabetes so to make my model so i have to create my training and testing data set um, also i need to separate the labels and then the features what i mean is uh, here uh, in the x i have dropped the column name as outcome which is my result I, I remove the result and then I store only the these features all the other columns and then in the Y I try to like write the only the output of the results that means 0 and 1 whether uh, the patient have uh, diabetes or not and then if I try to see the head of x then we can see only these uh, parameters only these column names uh, we, we remove these outcomes and here uh, before training our model I, I i try to like split my data set into training and testing set so basically this train test split function from escalon what it will do is it will try to like categorize my data i mean uh, like split my data into two category train and test based on x and y values and then for this sample i'm 
taking 0.2 data set that means 20% data set into the test and 80% into the train set and uh, for the simplicity uh, I wrote random state to 42 uh, what it will do is uh, it will try to make the same random split based on my this function train test is it if you did not specify this this parameter then what it will do is every time you run the code then it will it will uh, store the train and test labels in the i mean different uh, shuffle based on different shuffle it will try to store the data set so i wrote random state to 42 and KNN is really easy with this scikit-learn library so what you need to do is you just need to write this function name imported from uh, which is imported from yaskelon.neighbors and then uh, inside bracket you need to write the uh, nearest neighbor so based on five nearest uh, points it will try to classify the new points so after that you need to fit your model knn.fit uh, fit based on x train and y uh, train data set and if you run this code then you will get the classif classification uh, i mean uh, your model will be uh, fit based on your training data set and after that you need to predict the data set uh, based on uh, yax test data set uh, i'm passing the test data set here because um, the model is already seen this train data set so uh, model might have more accuracy on the train data set but the test data set is not used used for the for the training of our model so i'm uh, using the test data set and based on uh, knn algorithm it predict my outcome is zero and one that means the first patient uh, is not diabetes second also not not have diabetes uh, only the fourth patient have diabetes based on this uh, given features so yeah in this way it, it helped to predict the new data set as well and then if if i show you the accuracy of my model so you can simply calculate the accuracy based on canon dot score so uh, normally the accuracy will computed based on test data set so i pass the x test and y test data set and then it appear with 66.2 percent accuracy but uh, one thing is uh, here we defined the nearest neighbor is five but if we change the nearest neighbor then uh, our model this outcome might slightly different and our accuracy might either improve or um, it will go low so to like to solve the issue of yan neighbors parameter so what i'm going to do is i'm going to loop uh, write the for loop and then loop it uh, to the uh, based on the nearest neighbor cells so here i wrote training accuracy and testing accuracy and then neighbors np dot arrange one to uh, 26 uh, what it will do is it will uh, create the list based on 1 2 3 4 up to 26 and then i run the for loop based on neighbors and then here i wrote this similar things as above so i ran the uh, knn classifier and based on neighbors number of neighbors is same to the uh, in first loop it will be 1 2 3 and so on and then i feed the model with the x train y train and then uh, i added this model accuracy to the train accuracy and test accuracy canon dot score which is canon dot score and then if i plot these accuracies so 
for plotting accuracy, I have used the matplotlib function. And then if I plot the accuracy, then my accuracy will look like this. So first of all, in the first prediction, we have almost uh, our model is almost accurate in training data set but in test data set it is only i think 64 percent accurate and then uh, based on our nearest neighbors parameter uh, it fluctuate and then uh, if you see the pattern in the training data set our accuracy is continuously decreasing but in the test set it's increasing up to this point and then it start decreasing i think this point is 12 so 12 uh, in the k nearest neighbor value of 12 we get the highest accuracy so i'm going to use that value and yeah and the thing is like uh, for the measuring the accuracy uh, we have lots of other parameters as well not only the uh, default score value so we have the confusion metrics as well and then accuracy precision recall f1 score and roc uh, area under curve so the confusion matrix is, is look like this so based on the positive values and negative values uh, so it will try to plot the table and then uh, we'll get the value of true positive and then true negative value and then false negative and false positive values and then accuracy is the uh, total correctly predicted value divide total number of uh, samples and then precision is uh, true positive divide true positive plus false negative and similarly recall uh, formula is true positive divided by true positive plus false negative and then f1 score is calculated based on precision and recall by this formula and for ROC, uh, AUC curve, uh, I'm going to talk about these things in another video. But uh, basically, this accuracy metrics, uh, different accuracy metrics will be used for, for the different, uh, I mean, different problems. And then for each, each accuracy, if we get the higher values, then it has, uh, our model is considered as uh, good uh, if we get the lower value of this accuracy precision recall or f1 score then uh, our model is treated as uh, wrong and here for example uh, i'm trying to i try to calculate the confusion matrix and classification report i mean the this all accuracies so with the help of scikit-learn it's very very easy so within few only two line of code we can simply generate the confusion matrix and classification reports okay so to do so what i did is i tried again the same classifier with the number of neighbors as to well as we see from this chart we know the in the number of to well we get the higher accuracy in test data set so i take the number of neighbors as to well and then i try to feed the model and try to predict the uh, values based on the x test parameter and then if i try to print the confusion matrix so my confusion matrix is look like this so i have the positive values of 89 plus 31 but these two values uh these two and their values are my errors uh, the accuracy is always lies on the diagonal uh, body and then similarly if you try to compute the classification report that means uh, try to calculate the precision recall and f1 score so you will get the precision recall and f1 score based on each class so based on zero which is not diabetes and based on one which is diabetes and then our overall accuracy is 0.78 percent uh, 0.78 that means 78 yes, percent as you can see it here so if we let's say change the number of neighbors then our accuracy is 
uh, slightly improving so by default we have the accuracy of 66 percent but now uh, finally if we change the number of neighbor to 12 then we got the accuracy up to 78 percent so yeah that's how knn works i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next thank you for watching